Hi, it's Joy, and today I'm watching How to Get Away with Murder, season 4, episode 15, Nobody Else is Dying, which is a sentiment I wholeheartedly agree with. Um, I, my reaction last week did not go up because when I went to edit it I found that I had my video but I didn't have any sound, so I'm really sorry about that. I have double checked and triple checked this week, oh, fingers crossed everything is fine when I come to edit this. If you're hearing it now, it obviously is. Um, my I mean last week I was, you know, the ending, initially I was like, oh my god, Bonnie's dead, and then I very quickly was like, is she though? We never saw her body, and I feel like if Bonnie had died we would have seen her body, um, so I think maybe it's someone else that has died, or perhaps it's all, Bonnie's just faking her death for some reason, but I'm intrigued to this episode, I'm terrified to this episode, let's go. It's Denver, isn't it? Not Bonnie. What's wrong? Three fractures to the fingers Denver's dead, that's what's wrong. I do feel really sorry for Asher. Why does this keep happening to us? Oh, no. It's not overly shocking as a twist. I'm not overly so I mean, I don't care. I don't like Denver. So we didn't see Bonnie's body last week, and they didn't say it was Bonnie, so it was never going to be Bonnie. But knowing that he's going, that um, Laura's dad's going after people that are like enemies, slept with Colliver's. It would be terrifying to know going after enemies. Let's take a moment to honor the man who we were all so lucky to work with. <laughs> so lucky. No one else is dying. Good. Now, as screwed up as it sounds, all we have is each other. And so we have to work to protect. What? Your mother's missing. Oh, yeah, what did Laura do? Told her to kill herself. She likes telling people to do that. Women with mental health issues. This is what my father does. Plus to con and out to a mom. Surprises you? I didn't even know they knew each other. How did they? <laughs> Pointing the DA know, like that. Pointing the investigation there. Spoken to him recently. You looking for this too? <laughs> that was mean. I just know what really happened. What really happened? Because I know everything. Did he get kicked out or something? So trust that I know what I'm doing here too. I wanna know, Connor, tell me. That would be a very big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> she can be terrifying. I really hope she does help. She's very much an unpredictable element in all of this. I'm scared. Where are they? I destroyed them already. Did he? I want to trust me. I don't trust anyone in this show. Get back to Pakistan. That's not who we are. Of course it is. Do you want to die? You know I love you no matter what, right? <laughs> what are you asking me? He's killed so many people. He wouldn't care. Oh, well, I have been lying to all of you for exactly the same reason. He's gonna tell us. I didn't cheat. But I didn't drop out either. You got kicked out. I failed out. And I know it's stupid that I didn't tell you. I just, I was ashamed. And now I'm ashamed that I was ashamed. Do you want to call off the wedding? so much I just need them to be okay. Ideally everyone, but at least those do. <laughs> I'm so scared. Stop accusing Laurel of something we both know she's not capable of. And you don't know my daughter. People have been suggesting there's more to Laurel than we thought. I mean she's very quick to tell people to kill themselves and stuff like that. I'm sorry I called you a sociopath. He is a sociopath. Michaela. You pushed her away. Some monster steal her from you. You pushed her away. You took West from me. And for what? Was it for the money? And by taking her son away from her, you're putting her through the same pain that you say you feel right now. Actually, appealing to his humanity and testing tactics. I'm still very anxious, there's still time left in this episode and that's never a good thing with this show. And we'll be making a home visit with him. I don't trust her dad still. 
Oh, this song music's never good on this show. Stressful things happen. How is it? Damn cute. Do you know what's happening? Any minute. Get out of there. Oh, they're setting up this bread for the nursery. That's so sweet. I hope this will be a good ending, but then I feel like something terrible will happen. Very satisfying. He's in custody. Pekin, this is not worth dying for. Get the hell out of my office. I'm so glad she helped. Making a big mistake. You are the one making the mistake here. Trust is the foundation of the attorney client relationship. And professional conduct rule 1.6 prohibits me from disclosing information leading to representation. Bugged office. Clients informed consent. Actually, I took care of Simon. Simon Drake? Michaela! I made an anonymous tip to ICE. What's wrong with you? I've become me. That's what I'm proud of. It's a you lot of good you. move, Michaela. You ever heard? So she won. This guy from real life, I'd also be good, please. A controversial criminal defense attorney was the right person to argue such an important case. Today, with this momentous win, Ms. Keating has What's gonna go wrong? Something terrible's about to happen, right? He's scared. A far reaching step forward for defendants across the entire country. With this victory, no. Laurel, what did you do? Please tell me you didn't do anything. Why is he walking across the campus? Or is he applying? It was my second chance. Oh. My time off from Middleton allowed me to rediscover my passion for the law. Specifically, my work on Leahy v. Commonwealth of Pennsylvania reminded me why You can I do it, Connor. I'm rooting for you. Oh my god. He's knocking at the door. Hey. You didn't pick up your phone. I'm working on my application. You think I'm evil too? We're all evil sometimes. You gotta lose the beer. moving in here. This set will always be here. Connor doesn't think we should have him, but I feel like if we're gonna do a wedding, then we should do it right. So, will you be my best man? <laughs> Ali, just say yes. Hell yes, bestie! <laughs> <laughs> this is all too happy, I'm scared. <laughs> what do you think would happen? I knew he kept them. Why did he keep them? What's he gonna do? For the rest of their lives. Hi, Christy. Oh. I'm your godfather. You just don't know it yet because Laurel hasn't gotten off her ass to ask me. I don't know how to do this. No one does. You're not doing it alone. Writers haven't got a plan season four yet. Yes, Did you go to the bar? Yes, ma'am. Did you take my turn? Kids here. Shoot, 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 turkeys. <laughs> okay, so who is that? Who is this Gabriel Maddox character? Whose kid is he? Ugh, I can't. They're gonna tease that for a very long time before we get to figure out aren't they knowing this show? Or it'll be like BAM in the beginning of the next season. On the whole, that was quite a positive ending for this show. I mean, often they do have things wrapped up by the mid-season, by the mid-season, by the season finale. But I mean, Connor's re enrolled into law school, he and Oliver are getting married, Ash is still somewhere, so deep down, open to potentially forgiving Michaela, although Michaela is potentially heading off down a very dark path. I mean, okay, 
Yeah, La Laurel probably did kill her mother because she had scratches on her arm, but maybe they just had an argument and they fought a bit. I mean, who knows? That will be something they'll tease out next season. I'm very intrigued to see what's going to happen next. I mean, Frank, he's got the file, he's reading up on all of them. He kept those files. Why didn't he destroy them? Why does he have them? Does he think he's going to need leverage on them in some point in the future? Does he plan to use it now? So I'm intrigued about everything like that, but that was a good finale. I think for me this hasn't been my favourite season of How to Get Away with Murder but that's just largely because the previous seasons were set such a high bar but I loved it. I mean compared to other shows it's right up there. I enjoyed this season. I think the characters did a lot of, for the most part, growth but also with Kayla that growth is such like a darker turn maybe with Laurel too. I'm very intrigued to see what happens next season. I think it was quite good the way we all, they bonded together. I think that they started this season with Annalise sending them off to be separate and they ended it bonded as a unit and knowing that they had to lean on each other. So I hope we're going to see more of that going forward in season five and I'm looking forward to it when it starts. So thank you for watching.